How would you like to be able to enjoy the same cocktail John F. Kennedy and Ernest Hemingway enjoyed? Well, my name is David Edwards and welcome to Booze on the Rocks. We're going to make a daiquiri, or in Spanish, a daiquiri. Now we're making the classic version and it's one of the few cocktails where we actually know the origin story of and we can point specifically to a time and a place. Now, in 1898, in a little town off of southeastern Cuba called Daiquiri, or Daiquiri as we'd say it in English. And this is a mining town, and in that mining town, you had Jennings Cock, who was an American-born engineer who used to work at the mine, used to frequent a little place called Santiago's Venus. Now, every morning, him and six of his co-workers used to go in and drink multitudes of these, a good three to four before he started his shift every day. And his original recipe breaks down to serve six, and it contains the juice of six lemons, six teaspoons of sugar, and six Bacardi cups, whatever that size actually works out to. So in around that time, one of these days, he said to everybody, you know what, we've been drinking this for a while, what should we name it? Now everybody looked back at him and he said, well, let's name it a daiquiri. And history was made. This is a simple in cocktail that is absolutely perfect to enjoy any time of the year. Now this simple classic cocktail is only made with three ingredients. And even though the original recipe was made with Bacardi's Carta Blanca or Bacardi White Rum, I have made a substitution to use a Cuban spirit. So before we get involved, Let's talk about it. Today's spirit is Havana Club three-year-old Cuban rum. It's 40% alcohol by volume, and it's distilled in San Jose de las Laja, Cuba. And we're going to start with lime juice. So grab a lime, and then grab your wide peeler. And what we'll do is we will peel a swath of lime for your garnish. After that, you're going to cut the lime in half and squeeze it one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. And this is where you can actually adjust the cocktail to your preferences. So you can adjust the lime juice up and down a little bit. You can also adjust the type of syrup that you use. Now in this case, I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup. I'll put the ingredients and the method of how to make it down in the description for you. And we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Now your third ingredient is a Cuban rum. And in this case, I'm using Havana Club three-year-old, as I said. And you could adjust this to a seven-year-old or something else that just gives you those hints and flavors that you want. But we're going to use a full pour of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now that the basic ingredients are over, what we will do is shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds with a little bit of ice. Now the original recipe did call for some crushed ice. However, I'm just going to use some cubed ice and I'm going to shake it very hard to break everything up. So make sure when you put it down, you've got a good tight seal, give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. Set this off to the side. Now, before we pour this in, what we'll do is we will prep our garnish. So take your swath and what we'll do is just give ourselves a nice little twist just like so. And make sure that you're just prepped and ready to go. And we will serve this in an up style. I'm going to use a coupe. Now Jennings recipe said not to strain it. So I'm not going to fine strain this because there should be some small ice crystals inside and we'll just pour it in. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Add your little lime twist right there. And there you have a classic daiquiri. Let's give it a try. So immediately I can smell a little bit of the rum and I get a little bit of that lime. Mm. That is a classic. It's tart, it's sweet, it's got that rum funk, absolutely fantastic. And there's not a lot of funk to this, it's just great rum with great ingredients. What I'll do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. You have a fantastic day.